Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this elegant My Lady Seed Beads earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free content like this one and a bracelet is coming, that is why it's a good idea to subscribe and be notified when the bracelet is on and thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support guys check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials a lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button Thank to all of you that support me guys, you are my inspiration. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads, chameleon or iris color, golden color and white color and I will put the exact numbers of these precious beads in the description box. And here I'm using golden earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. And this is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12. And here I'm also using scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of these beautiful chameleon or iris beads. And I'm going to slide those down. And I will go through all of those four beads. Like this. Now I will stick my needle in my mat and what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will go through one of those beautiful iris beads Then I'm taking one golden bead and I go in the next iris. And I will repeat it three more times. Okay, now I want to exit through one of those golden beads and I'm taking five golden beads, okay, five of those and I'm going here in the next golden that is sticking out. Then I need five more goldens again and I'm going in the following golden. Five again. Go in the next golden. And five more go here in the very first golden where I started my whole row from so now I have this now I'm going here through two goldens I skip the next golden that's on my way I don't go through it, but I go through the following golden. And 
and when I pull I have these beads sticking out then I take iris golden and iris and I go through this golden here which is next to the one that is sticking out the most the one before that and I pull then I skip this one that's sticking out the most in order to make an angle here okay I'm pulling and I'm forming an angle again I take iris golden iris and I go here in the one that is next to the sticky outy then I skip the following bit and I pull and I will repeat the same thing two more times Okay, in my next step I'm going through the following golden and I need five white beads and I'm going in the next golden that is sticking out. And I need five more, go in the next one that is sticking out. five again and go here and I'm going to continue this off camera until the end of this row do this four more times and meet me here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row now what I want to do is to go through these two white beads in this direction I'm not going through the following bead I'm skipping it I'm pulling and forming an angle and I need one iris bead and I'm going here in the second white counting from the center then what I do is to skip the central one and go through the following one iris go in the second one counting from the center the second white one okay then skip this one that is sticking out the most and form an angle if it doesn't form just push it a little bit in this direction to help it another iris bead go in the second white counting from the center skip one and go through the following and one iris again and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row guys and I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row okay and now I want to take seven of those beautiful iris beads you see seven of those and I'm going here in the white that is sticking out exiting out of one of the whites I'm going through the other one I take seven again and I go in the next white one again 
again 7 and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last 7 beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go through 4 of those 7 beads that I added in my previous row. Okay, And I take 3 golden beads and I go back in circle through this one which happens to be the central bead of the 7 beads. Okay, then I go through 2 of these beautiful iris beads. Take one golden and go through these two iris beads just like this. Then also go through the next one. Then take three goldens, go back through this central one, back in circle and pull. Then through the following two beads, one golden, through the next two, and pull, then go through the central of those seven iris beads, okay, three golden, go back through this one and if you can in one movement through the next two as well, pull, one golden, go in, uh, skip the one that is closer to the white beads and go through the next three in one movement. In this way you save time. Again three golden beads, go through this one and through the following two and continue adding one, three, one, three, one, three and I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last golden bead from this row. Now what I want to do is to reach my next golden here, like this, and I take two golden beads and I go here through these two beads and then I go through the third one which is in the other direction, two goldens again, go here in this golden, two goldens, go in these two and then go in the following golden, two golden beads again, go like this, two goldens, go in the following two go in the next golden and take two again and I will continue guys this off camera and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go through all of those golden beads and exit through the one that is sticking out the most, this one here. Then I'm going to take nine white beads. Okay I need nine. And as I'm exiting through the one that is sticking out 
I'm going in the next one that is sticking out. Okay, I need nine white beads again. And I do the same thing. I go through the next that is sticking out. Nine white beads again. Go in the next that is sticking out. And I will continue, guys, until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last nine beads. And then I go through three white beads in this direction. Take just one iris bead. And I go back through this one. And through the next two. And I pull. Then I take one iris bead. I go back through this one, also through the following two white beads, and I pull, and then I take one more iris bead, and I go through this one and through the following. Back in circle, through the one that I'm exiting out of, and the following. Then I take one iris bead. I skip this one that is closer to the center. And go through the next two beads. Take one iris bead. Go back through this one. And through the following two beads. Take one, go back through this one and through the following two beads. Take one, go back through this one and through the following one. Again, one iris bead. Don't go through the one that is closer to the golden beads, but go through the next two white beads. Take one iris bead. Go through the one you're exiting out of and through the next two. Take one. Go through the one you're exiting out of, back in circle, and through the next two. Take one. Go through the one that you're exiting out of, and through the next one. Take one. Don't go through the one that is closer to the golden angle, but go through the next two. Okay, and continue this until the end and meet me here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. And now what I want to do is go in the next white bead. And then I will turn directions. I'm going through this iris bead in this direction. Okay, I have this now. I take two iris beads. And I go through this middle one here. Again two. Go in the next. One, go here in the following, again one, then two, again two beats. Go 
one, one, and two. Okay, and now I will repeat this two, one, one, two. Okay, and I will continue this until the end. Two one one two two one one two, and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step, where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Okay, and I'm exiting here in the middle. You see through the middle bead, the angle bead, and what I wanna do next is go in the following iris bead and I take two golden beads, my earring finding and two golden beads and I go back through this one that is just before the angle but from the other side and again through the angle and I pull then what I want to do is to reinforce my work and I'm going backwards through those beads. Okay, I went several times through my beads and now what I need to do next, if I want of course I could go reinforcing the edges of my work, but after that I could make here a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull and I could repeat this several more times then when I'm ready I'm going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting Okay guys, and now my elegant, my lady seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. In this way you will know, know when I make new tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, also a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank to all of you that support me now. Click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.